This is the Earth. It's where we all live. But right now, it has too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And this carbon dioxide is changing our planet's climate, leading to things like higher temperatures, stronger storms, more severe droughts, and rising sea levels. We all know that carbon dioxide comes from things like burning fossil fuels and driving cars, but a lot of the atmosphere's carbon dioxide also comes from deforestation. See, forests store carbon as plant matter and soil, and when deforestation occurs, it releases a large amount of that stored carbon to the atmosphere, similar to burning fossil fuels. And there's a lot of carbon stored in every acre. For example, Rainforest Trust project in Peru to expand the Arapai Community Reserve, along with other regional protection efforts, has approximately 260 trees per acre. These trees, along with all the other vegetation across the more than 1.3 million acres, stores the equivalent of 292 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. If released to the atmosphere, that would be more than the yearly emissions of 62 million cars in the United States. And that's just one patch of forest. Billions and billions of tons of carbon are stored in rainforests around the world, and plenty of it is being released through deforestation. In fact, according to recent estimates, tropical deforestation accounts for up to 15% of net global carbon emissions. That's about the same as all global transportation emissions. But there's more to the story. Halting tropical deforestation and allowing regrowth could mitigate up to 50% of global carbon emissions through 2050. That's why Rainforest Trust's commitment to protect habitat for endangered species also protects the planet. 